uh, Anton Williams here. He lives in that house with the power lines down on it, and he was home when this happened. And Anton, you keep saying, I, I can't believe this is happening in Greensboro, right? Right. So tell us what you were doing and, and what you saw. Um, I was sitting at home, and I was playing Fortnite, and all of a sudden I just hear a bunch of noise, and I look out the window, and I start seeing the roof come off the houses in front of me. But then I sit back down because I only got like a couple people left in my gang. I was going to try to finish the game. But then it just started getting worse. And then I start seeing the power lines come down. So I heard my, told my sister and my nephew to come to the bathroom so everything would be okay. What, what did you hear? I mean, was it loud noise? What, a lot of people say it sounds like a train. But did you hear anything or hear anything hitting against your home? No, I really didn't hear anything, but I really did hear when the roof start coming off the like the side of the house, and then when the truck flipped, then I heard that. And, and what's going through your mind is you're, you're you said you're in the bathroom with your sister and nephew. I'm like, <laughs> I was, honestly, I was just thinking about the game, but I was hoping everybody was okay around me. But when I came outside to check on my neighbors, they said everything was fine. And tell us, you said that you talked to the people who were in the in the home that was lifted up off the foundation. What did they tell you? They said they just told their family to go inside the restroom, but they felt the house being lifted up off the ground. And, and you said that they felt kind of being thrown? Yeah, they felt the pressure of the wind coming through the windows. Okay. And as you're walking outside and you're seeing this damage, what do you think? I was like, I'm thinking like, I didn't even know something like this would happen in Greensboro. You can't picture this happening. Well, we're glad you're okay. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. We really appreciate it. So again, um, we haven't heard any uh, confirmed injuries, but I did speak with the gentleman who was walking by. He said his hip hurt. Uh, he was at a home just a, a, up the road a little ways, and we haven't made it quite up there yet to see the damage there. But let's turn you around here and kind of show you back this way. Trees, look at this. Massive trees just uprooted on top of these cars here. This home has extensive damage, and you can really see uh, almost a line sort of where the tree have come down and they're split in half again power lines thrown all over the place and now we're getting some first responders up the street trying to get down there's just a ton of people out here uh, taking pictures most people we've talked to have just come out um, after the storm blew through uh, looks like there's an ambulance coming down the road here so again we're gonna try to find some uh, emergency officials who might be able to tell us uh, some extent of injuries here but you know, as we're walking down a little bit further, power lines on the road, everybody's kind of telling folks to watch out as they're walking. So, um, and here's a crew coming down to probably cut down some trees that are in the way. So lots going on here. Uh, again, we're on Phillips Avenue. We're a little bit down further to Valley View Street. Florida.